everyone. Welcome back to my channel. This is Tara with Mayhem Crafty Cards, and today I have two craft fair projects for you. Um, they're pretty simple and easy. I use the stationary box die from the Greetery for this one we're going to put together, and I also use the Mama Elephant um, large or Mama Elephant XL favor bag. Oh my gosh, words. So I did cut out a couple of these in black and I'll tell you why I cut them out in black here shortly, but we're gonna work on this gift box. Now I have about 10,000 backgrounds between alcohol inks, uh, sprays, colors. And when I was picking out my colors for my boxes, now this die is so easy. Let me, sorry, let me backtrack for a second. The dies for the greetery, literally three dies. It's so nice to use because you have one piece that you're going to, this is the base piece that you're going to cut twice. So you cut this twice and then you get your, um, get the base of your box. This is going to be for your, your envelope or for your lid to your box. And then this little piece right here cuts out the opening to your box, which is so nice. And it, it gives it a nice little decorative edge. So the craft show I'm getting ready for is for our, my kids are, have been in the marching band. Oh my gosh, since my son was in seventh grade and he's now a junior in college. So my daughter has followed in his marching band footsteps. And every year we put on a craft show to help offset the costs for the kids' band camp. So usually everything that I make, other than what I use for supplies, I donate right back to the band because for me it's very important that these kids get to go. Um, I like the, I guess I like the slogan "No Kid Left Behind," and we don't like to leave any of our kids out. So this paper, and I don't know why it's showing up this color, but it's like a mint, and I believe this is from Simon Says Stamp. It's either Simon Says Stamp or Concord and Ninth. It's 100 pound paper. I do like to use a little thicker paper when I'm doing these because I need to give them some, I, I need them to be able to hold up to, you know, a lot of handling. So I went ahead and put my double sided tape and this is from scrapbook.com. I really, really like this tape because the backing is so easy to get off. Uh, sometimes I fumble with the backing and I have to pause my video just to pull, just to pull the backing off of uh, my uh, project. But this tape is so easy. So we're gonna go ahead and put this together. And like I said, this die makes it so nice. And this isn't the only thing that I'm making for the craft show. I just wanted to share this with you guys because I'm gonna be using some of my uh, backgrounds that I have hoarded forever and just either hoarded or just didn't know what to do with. So I like to fold that little flap down and I try to line it up at the very top. And I make sure that I have enough pressure to where it's not going to slide underneath. So that looks really good. And then you're just gonna press it down and kind of like burnish it into the paper. Easy peasy. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this side. And I did not put any adhesive at the bottoms of these. I kept them um, open until I decide which flap is gonna go on which side. And I should know by now because I've made a ton of these, but Look how easy that tape came off. So I'm gonna go ahead and fold my box up and I think, yeah, I think I'm think i gonna go that way. So you just take these little flaps and you can just fold them in. It makes it a lot easier and I don't put adhesive on those at all. I just kind of tuck them in there because the box is gonna hold itself together. So I like to grab this corner and I try to bend it just a little bit because once this double-sided uh, adhesive sticks like that's it there's no going back and I probably could have put um, some liquid adhesive on there but uh, I just didn't think about it so I'm going to fold my make my flap to go towards the outside of the box so I'm gonna put double-sided adhesive here and it comes with all the score lines so you don't have to like try to figure out you know what the measurement is or how am I going to put this together. So I'm using a quarter inch 
double-sided adhesive, like I said, from scrapbook.com. And it's just so easy to do. Okay, yes, I had to, I had to check myself there for a second. Um, I usually put two strips. And like, I would usually cut this out of my video, but this tape is so easy to use. It, I mean, literally takes me like a second. So while I'm doing this, I will be getting a new craft mat. Um, I like the blue one, but man, it just grabs onto like any kind of dust and we have cats and dogs and it just kind of like collects the hair. So for my birthday, which is next month, it's in April, I am going to be getting one of the Glassboard Studios magnetic, um, magnetic mats because I do a lot of stenciling and a lot of work with my, sorry guys, this is sticking to my fingers, a lot of uh, work with my Distress Oxides. See how quick that was? I mean, super easy. And I'm gonna go ahead and attach it to you. Like I said, I just put um, double-sided piece of on that last score line. Um, but I do a lot of work with that and I hate the fact that I have to change mats all the time. So for this one, I just pop it in before I press down, line it up, and then I'm gonna just go ahead and press down. And it just, it lines up so nicely. So then you just take your little tabs and you can even cut these off if you find them bothersome. Sorry, I'm gonna pop off camera for just a second. And there you go, there's your box. And it holds four and a quarter by five and a half inch note cards and it holds the A2 size envelopes, which is nice. Now I'm gonna be getting magnet closures for these. I just wanna, you know, extra little touches I think people appreciate. So, this is empty, like this is so plain, and I, sometimes plain is nice, but I have so many of these backgrounds, and I'm, like I said, I'm not joking when I say I have a lot. So, I think I'm going to take this purple one here, and I have this die from Concord and I. It came with this set, but I didn't, I don't know, I wasn't a huge fan of it, like it, I had a hard time stamping it, but it's a layering, um, set and for the life of me I cannot line up layering stamps to save my life even in my misty I don't know if you guys have that problem but it just oh it drives me nuts so once I figure out where I put my die I can show you guys I'll be right back okay it was stuck to under the project I was working on so this is just this fits perfectly on these boxes and I love it because you can add just a little bit of you know a little something extra or just put a little sentiment in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this real quick. And I think what I'm gonna do, so a lot of my acolyting backgrounds, I don't know what to do with. Um, I love making them, but I don't wanna cover them up. So I try to either do something like this where I'm die cutting sections out, or I will use um, a cover plate. Now this one's from Honey Bee Stamps and I really, really, Oh my gosh, if you guys have seen my project recently, I love this. I love this. I did, I will use something like that and do, and just cut it out in white. So it's not totally covered, but it you can still see the image. It kind of like softens it just a little bit. Or sometimes I will do it in black. It just depends on which ink I'm using. Like this purple, I, I'm not sure if I would use the black or not. But like this pink that I have, totally use the black. Put a simple sentiment on there and you're done. So I like to kind of make, you know, once I get them, I've been trying to see which ones that I really want to work with. So, see, it's already stuck here, oh my gosh. Okay, so I just kind of look for a spot where I kind of want to keep some of the mix from the alcohol inks, but I want to keep just a little bit of white space too. I like white space, not a lot of it, but I do like white space. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and tape this down. I've been using this pixie tape and I love this stuff. Now I was very unsure of it about it at first, 
because when I first used it, it was sticking to nothing. And I'm like, oh, I've just wasted my money. This is going to drive me insane. The more I used it, the better it got. So if you're looking for something that's not going to like rip up your images, like mint tape, I have mint tape um, and the pixie tape. And I really, really like these. They're just, I don't know, they're just really good. So I'm going to die cut this real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm kind of glad the pixie tape stuck a little bit so you guys can see that it doesn't do, it doesn't like hurt your image at all. I mean, it peels right off. It did take a little bit of the alcohol ink off, but I mean, it's just the gold. So I'm going to probably place this. Let me close my lid. Probably roughly about right here. Now, you could adhere this with anything. I'm going to go ahead and use liquid glue. Not that I don't like my um, double-sided tape, but it just makes it a little bit easier, especially when you're mass producing. Like this is such an easy project to mass produce. And I'm just using my uh, Barely Art Glue. I love this glue. I used to use the Art Glitter Glue for a long time, but it was very hard to get it shipped to Ohio like during the winter months. Um, because, you know, it's Ohio and the weather doesn't like to stay the, stay the same for more than 10 minutes. So I'm gonna go, go ahead and close my lid again. I'm just gonna kind of line it up. And I'm gonna let that sit for a minute. Um, usually I would use my uh, reverse tweezers to hold this, but it's really hard to kind of get them inside that box. But yeah, so what, I mean, what would you guys like to see on my channel? I am trying to make sure that I am putting content out that everybody enjoys. Uh, sometimes it's hard because you run out of ideas on what to do or somebody's already done it and it's just, it makes it difficult sometimes to, to come up with new ideas. So what would you guys like to see? Um, I put a post in the, com I added a post on the community tab um, on my YouTube channel. So check that out, throw me some ideas. I have, you know, I'm always up to try anything. So I just wanna show you guys real quick. Now I had, I've already had some pre-made cards done because like I said, this is for the craft show and it's Saturday, this coming Saturday. I already have some pre-made cards done. Now they're pretty plain right now, but I'm going to add sub sentiments to some of them or jewels. I shouldn't say jewels, bling, add the bling, gotta add the bling. But I just grabbed four of these and I grabbed four envelopes. And I just wanna show you guys how nicely they fit inside this box. And you still have room, like you could do more than four because you still have plenty of room in here. And they just slide in so nicely. And this is what I'm saying where you can cut the tabs off if you really find it to be a pain. And then there's your card box. I really love this die from the Greedery. It made it so nice and easy to put these together. So for this, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut out, a die cut out a sentiment. And I think I'm going to use the thanks. So the thanks from the Trendy Stamps, uh, simply, sen simply Sentimental. So it's stamps and you have coordinating dies that go with it. Um, I like the coordinating dies. You don't even have to get the stamps. I just like the coordinating dies because you get the word and you get the shadow, which makes it super nice to, um, just for a quick sentiment. I don't like to do a bunch of sentiments um, only because, one, I don't have the space. I craft in my living room um, along with, you know, my whole family. Um, so space is very limited. I thought about doing a little tour of my little space, but it's not quite ready yet. There's storage solutions that I need to figure out before I show you guys how I keep everything. So for this, I think what I'm going to do is use some white cardstock, and I'm actually, I think I'm going to use, let's cut them out in both and we'll see. I'll be right back. Okay, so I cut it out of black, white, and gold, and I'm not sure how I, and I cut the shadow out of vellum. So this is where sometimes it takes me a while because I don't want it to be too much. I don't want it to be not enough. And I think we're gonna go with the black. But I do this. I mean, sometimes it will take me forever just for this part. Yeah, I think we're gonna use the black. So what I'm going to do, and I should have done this with 
um, some double-sided adhesive or um, like the sticky sheets. I have some from Tailored Expression that I can use to run through, I can use my dies to run through the paper and it'll make it like a sticker. But I think what I'm going to do is just use a little bit, and I mean like a tiny bit because vellum will show everything. Just a little bit of glue. Just so they know what's it, what this card pack is going to be. Because they're all thank you cards. I figured that's the best. That and maybe birthday cards. But it's very hard because you don't know to make masculine cards or, you know. Um, what kind of birthday cards people are really looking for. Let's see, now we gotta scoot this guy up a oh. little. Sorry, Kayla, I'm done already for me. Oh, see that little bit of glue just just worked perfectly so you have your little sentiment and this is just matte black cardstock this is on Yupo paper um, the alcohol inks and then this like I said is a hundred pound cardstock because I like it to be um, a little thicker now I'm just putting adhesive where you can see through the uh, to the sentiment because if not you're gonna see it add some to this S and then this box is done. Nothing like super fancy. I didn't want to add gems because I don't know how people are going to store this and I don't want the gems to fall off. So there is that project. Like I said, not, not super long, but that is my little card box. Uh, well, stationary box. And like I said, I don't do craft shows all the time. I usually only just do them for the band. Um, I don't know. What do you guys think of this? Do you guys, is this something you guys would try? Um, did it help with some ideas for your backgrounds? So now we're gonna move on to the little treat bags. And the ones that I did that I cut out in black. So I had an idea where I could uh, use my foil, my hot foil press to add some, I don't know, like this little hot foil, but I thought these would be super cute for wedding favor bags. Now this is just the Michaels 110 pound cardstock. Um, it collects everything. So I would recommend using, you know, maybe a little different cardstock for this, another black. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out this piece here in gold and then put um, I just I'll probably find a sentiment maybe congratulations but it's not really that big so for this one you get it's the same kind of so you have the base piece and you cut this twice and that forms your little treat bag and literally that's all you have to do I mean you don't have to add any of these little extras I happen to like this little frame, this little scallop frame. So I'm going to cut this out of some gold cardstock and see kind of how it looks with the gold. So I'm going to do that and I'll be right back. Okay, so that was super easy to do, but look at that. I really like the black and the gold together. Like I said, I think these would make perfect uh, little wedding treat bags. I'm sure they're called something else, but treat bag is the only word that I can think of right now. So I would do the exact same thing with the vellum for the um, shadow piece. And then I'm going to cut out the things one more time in black cardstock because I really like the, the black and gold mix. I just think it kind of like pops a little bit, especially for something like a wedding. I mean, you could do any color. I'm sure you could find somebody's wedding colors or even your own <clears throat> and find that paper that matches those colors very well. So let me cut this out real quick. Honeybee is coming out with a die cutting machine that sits on your table and there it folds open. It's I can't wait to get it because I have the Sizzix one for like my smaller dies. And not that I don't love it, but sometimes, man, it's a pain in the butt. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and add my tape to this so you guys can see how this comes together. Put this one aside. And I have a ton of these cut. I, 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 <laughs> I just think they're super cute for, you know, either 
weddings or birthdays or, you know, like little thank you gifts that sit on somebody's desk. I, I just, I really, I really love these little bags. So I'm going to go ahead again with a double-sided adhesive. I'm going to flip these over and this panel right here. So you can see that line where it folds. I'm going to put a piece of there and I'm also going to put it on the other side. Ooh, see, it almost happened. This double side tape is no joke. It is not playing around with you. And I don't, sometimes I don't always go up to the end because if I can't get that corner matched up really well, it is kind of a pain in the butt to get it to line up. But this quarter inch tape works so well. Like they have it in so many sizes, but I think I use the quarter inch the most. All right, so the same thing that we did with the stationary box. I'm gonna go ahead and r remove this adhesive. Or remove this, remove the backing from the adhesive. And I'm going to just line this up Ooh, as best as I can before I set that side down. Because one, like I said, once you set that side down, that's it. And I like to line up little scallops at the top. It just makes it a lot easier to um, to find. Now you could do it like this, fold it over and then fold it down. And then there's that, which is, I think that's what I'm going to do. Cause I think that'll line up really well. And I'm not gonna have to mess around with um, trying to make sure it's even. So I'm gonna start at the corner and just press all the way down. And there's our little treat bag. Like how cute is this? So now I'm going to go ahead and fold these in. And again, I'm going to make it so the flap goes in the back. So I'm just gonna add some more of that double-sided adhesive because I don't want them to fall apart. Like I know glue, the, the Barely Arts glue is really strong, but I'm so afraid that the bottoms are gonna fall out that I don't want that. So I'm just gonna add two pieces like I did before just to make sure that it doesn't come apart. On me when I'm trying, you know, well, not just on me, but on anybody that picks up the bag. So yeah, do you guys do craft fairs or craft shows like, or mass producing? I tend to not do mass producing a whole lot unless it's like something like this. Um, just because it, I guess it just depends on how detailed the card is. I'm also going to fold these flaps in as well. I'm going to take it and keep it as square as I can because sometimes it'll shift on you and just fold that little flap over. And there is your little gift box. Like how cute is this? And then you could just kind of like, I like to take my fingers and just kind of push in the sides a little bit and then it'll start to bend for me. So now let's go ahead and get this on the card base, or on the card base, on the box, and then we can add our sentiment to it. So like I said, these little boxes are so versatile. You could use them for just about any, you know, anything. And I really like how easy they are to put together because sometimes my fingers don't like to work. So it's, it's really hard sometimes to get things put together. Oh no, oh no. You know what, we're gonna cover that up. Not even worried about it. Cause this one is just a, one of my practice ones. So I like to do a couple practice rounds before I actually, you know, make my final design. But I really like how this is coming together. And like I said, just a tiny bit of glue on this little because it's very thin like you don't want it to add too much so it squirts out and gets all over your vellum so I'm just going to take this and try to line it up the best of the way that I can because this is handmade it's not Hallmark not in my house <laughs> there is no Hallmark in my house Plus, I think it gives it a little bit of character. And again, I'm just gonna go follow behind where that sentiment is. I guess I could be on camera to do that. <gasps> See, like that, you don't want that because it's going to show through 
your vellum and it's because vellum kind of puckers a little bit when there's adhesive on it so you just kind of just little dots little dots little dots will do you and then I'm just going to pop that little guy right there and that's it for our little gift bags so yeah let me know what you guys think um would you like to see more craft fair videos like I said I'm just doing this one but I may do more I, I don't know I have a I have anxiety when it comes to stuff like that but I'm trying to overcome that by putting myself out there more and having a little bit more confidence in myself because we all have those days where you're just not feeling feeling so great so yes that's my two craft show projects I've already lost my box. Oh. Let's see. Here it is. So yeah, these are my two projects for the craft show. So let me know what you guys think. Um, leave me suggestions down below. I am getting ready to send to start a Happy Meal list where I just randomly send Happy Meal to my viewers. So if you'd like to be a part of that, make sure that you leave a comment down below and let me know if it'd be something you're interested in. I love sending Happy Meal. I think it just brightens someone's day. So until next time, guys, take care. Don't forget to like and subscribe.